Africa, at its eastern extremity, pointing towards Asia, is the young, recently independent nation of Somalia. At the end of 1964, various regions were struck by a terrible drought which caused a grave food shortage. This little boy, ravaged by malnutrition, will he survive? Mr. Jean-Pierre Robert Tissot, director of the Relief Bureau of the League of Red Cross Societies, arrives in Somalia. Mogadishu, the capital. Its port, where aid flows in from the Red Cross, governments and various humanitarian organizations. In view of the general situation, and owing to the lack of resources in the country, the recently formed National Somali Red Crescent Society, in full agreement with the Somali authorities, appealed for help to the League of Red Cross Societies in Geneva. The emblem of the Young Red Crescent Society, equivalent of Red Cross in this Muslim country, bears witness to its presence and indicates to all the active international solidarity of the movement. Thanks to the generous contributions received from numerous countries, the Federation of the Red Cross, Red Crescent and Red Lion and Sun Societies has been able to set in motion a program of emergency aid to establish milk stations in the regions where 70,000 inhabitants, men, women and particularly children, were hard hit by the drought. Mogadishu. At a pilot milk station, Red Crescent volunteers prepare the distributions of milk and food received from such organizations as UNICEF and the American Aid Program. multicolored mugs with their vital contents. Daily from 400 to 600 children as well as young mothers and the aged receive their ration. As volunteers are trained they go to milk stations in the interior where the plight of the children is even more tragic. flight over the arid northeast reveals the desperate situation and permits the League delegates to make a survey and study with the local authorities the steps to be taken to face the emergency. Here at Galcayo, distributions of clothing and milk take place in the hospital grounds. The women have come in from the desert.
Is this signboard not a striking and poignant testimony to need in a forgotten corner of the world? Everywhere the land is parched, the trees are dying, there is no longer pasture for the flocks. In the village of Belet Wen, miserable huts are fashioned from branches. The children are curious, as children are everywhere, but here they are hungry as well. To this village have come refugees from Ethiopia. They too receive their rations. Here, to the Red Crescent milk distribution, is added a government distribution of bread, made from American flour. a few goats have survived in this arid land, all that is left of once flourishing herds. Will they grow into new flocks for the future? Fatalistic, a hungry crowd waits to be served. Bowls of milk and sacks of bread are quickly emptied as the distribution proceeds. But there is sufficient for all, and the disabled get their share. The distribution provides an excellent opportunity for nurses to give on-the-spot treatment and medicaments to the villagers and refugees. When seriously ill or injured, they get immediate hospital care. Countless human lives were saved in Somalia during 1965 thanks to this methodical and far-reaching Red Cross, Red Crescent relief action. Coordinated by the World Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, this international action has given back hope and health to a people who might otherwise have felt themselves forgotten by the rest of the world. This simple but universal action, drinking a bowl of milk, takes on a special meaning in this arid land. For them, it is truly life-saving milk.